Ahoy! A Thunderstruck here, and in this video I'm gonna go through Chapter 3 of the Bittersweet Dessert Festival, which features the Stolen Jewels as event currency. And by going through this one we'll be able to unlock the last two parts of the album as well with that event currency. There's a new enhanced artifact for this Chapter 3 as well, the one from series guiding light will increase the drop rates for the stolen jewels so i'm here because i had been farming the stage but now the part for this chapter has been completely unlocked because it's the third week of this event and this first one is called First tour, Tamarine visits Poland for her first concert in Sidonia. However, she is too nervous to enjoy the festival. Sweet afternoon passes by and as the sun begins to set, a blanket of darkness covers the sky. Meanwhile in Poland, the festival goers grow more and more excited as the night settles in. Ains and Tamarine first tour. <sighs> I've never been this nervous before. I wasn't even this nervous when I had first performance in Ritania. What should I do? Can I even go up on stage like this? You worry too much. Oh, Cathy's! I believe in you. You've done great so far, and I'm sure you'll be fine here too, if you give it your all. But even if I do my best, I'm not sure if people from Perland will like me. Don't worry, I'm sure everyone will like you. Are you sure? Is that why you've spent all this time pacing in circles backstage? Phew, alright, that's enough, follow me. Huh? Where are we go- where are you going? You need to get some fresh air and lighten up a little. Let's take a look around the festival. Ah, oh, damn it. What is this place? It's been days since I arrived here after escaping from those fanatics obsessed with chaos or whatever in the Chandra ruins. I brought that weird rock with me just in case I can find someone to buy it at a decent price. But then I ran out of money on my way here, so I had to set aside my pride. I was forced to do some things I'm not proud of to get enough money and gems to get somewhere I might be able to sell this thing. After all that, why am I back here again? I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. I should have arrived at Arkans or Market by now. I'm never trusting those stupid signs ever again. Wait, hold on. If Berlin's able to hold a festival this huge, I assume they're not in a bad situation economically. Besides, it's not easy to find ore in Berlin. Maybe they would be willing to pay more here. Ha <laughs> whoa, am I sharp or what? And such amazing intuition. No one can stop a genius like me. Alright, let's try to do a little business at this festival. Tamarine, are you okay? You look... Catties, I'm dizzy. Oh no, Tamarine, are you okay? Ah, uh, I think I have a stomach ache. Is it because I'm so nervous? At this rate, I'll faint before I can even make it to the stage. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought you outside. No, it, it's not your fault. Uh. Okay, that's it. I'll go get you some medicine. Stay here. What kind of medicine treats dizziness? Where can I even buy it? I've got to find some as soon as possible. Huh? W wait, Katy! Oh no, what should I do? I don't even know where I am. Alright, next up, love at first listen. Which is immediately a battle stage. That we can go through into with our own team. Not with uh, the NPC team. Ains and Tamarine, love at first listen. 
Those cheap Berlin bastards! I need to pay to use a table? And I can't even sell stuff on the street? What kind of rule is that? How dare they look down on small business owners? <laughs> Whatever, I'm better off selling this sacred rock to someone who knows it's worth anyway. Maybe I should find a street merchant. Is it time yet? Not yet. Ah, I can't wait! This is her first time performing here, right? I'm really curious about her. Yeah, me too. What was her name? Tamarine? That sounds right. Tamarine? What a unique name. <clears throat> Let's ask who Tamarine is. Hey! Yes? Uh, are, are you talking to us? Who is he? Someone you know? No, I've never seen him before. He looks scary. Huh? What are you whispering about? N nothing sir. How can I help you? Who's this Tamarine you're talking about? Oh, we heard she's a singer from Ritania. Ritania? A singer? Yes, apparently she's on tour to help promote peace in Sidonia. And I heard she's really popular in Ritania too. Hmm, I see. Sounds like a dancing monkey to me. Um, can we excuse ourselves now? Wait! Yes? Hey, you! Why is he coming toward us like that? Is he planning to beat us up and steal all our stuff? What? Shouldn't we run then? I think so, when we get a chance. I've got some good stuff I can sell you, do you? Run, now! Wow! What? Why are you running away? Hey, wait! I'll sell it to you at a great price! You have no idea how rare this item is! Huh? Well, I thought I'd offer it to them just in case, but I should have known. They're just fools who can't recognize something valuable when they see it. I'll help you. <laughs> oh. Ah, well, we just need Lee not to go first anyway. She clears them up real easily. I'll keep going. I'm serious now. You're strong, but I won't lose. Ugh, I can't feel my arms. These are too heavy to carry around all day. I should take a break. Huh? I think I heard something. Is someone singing? Oh, I missed that beat. Let's start again. It's that girl. Hmm, her voice isn't bad. Actually, I've never heard anything like that. Oh no, my voice is trembling. Um, <laughs> again. Where is Katy's? It's starting to get dark. Well, well, miss. You've got a beautiful voice. Huh? Who, who are you? What are you doing out here all alone? No need to be surprised, we're not bad people. Huh? Who are these guys? I was trying to enjoy her singing. And what's with that cheesy line? Wait, I think I recognize them. What do you want? Stay away from me. Then you shouldn't have come here all by yourself. You need to pay the toll. But you've got such a beautiful voice. Maybe we can give you a discount. Hey, stay away from her. Huh? <gasps> Is that... Yeah, that's right. You must have heard of me. Ains, king of the back streets, is back. All right. Uh, Ains, I thought you'd been chased off by the guards. Huh? Guards? Now I remember, you're the vipers, aren't you? I seem to recall you lot running away from me with your tails between your legs. When did you get so bold? When did we... And how dare you interrupt her singing? I was enjoying that. Since when do you care about music? You wouldn't know a guitar if it hit you in the face. Since the day, so get lost already. I will do my best. I'm not going easy on you. It's not a one Hmm. <laughs> Those cowards. Oh, um... Why are you staring at me like that? Are you trying to say thank you? 
There, there's no need. I didn't do that because I was trying to save you or something. I was just enjoying your singing. And I got annoyed when it was suddenly interrupted. Uh, um, uh, wh what happened? Cathy's. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Who is this guy? Who's this punk? Is he with her? I don't really care for his clothes. It's like they're somehow familiar. I get the feeling that he's involved in arresting criminals. Hey, when did you... Uh, I I've got places to be. Wait, hold on. Huh? What's with that guy? I just wanted to ask what happened. <laughs> Alright, and this is where... It splits, but it kind of splits multiple times here. So this story, we really have s many choices to make to progress through this story, but you need to kind of clear everything anyway if you want to see all the endings. But yeah, it splits over here, so we can have two options that both lead to a different story part and then both of them can lead to this one this path here will have another split where we get two different story parts and then comes back together towards that final stage and this one is just a continuous road towards that same place so here and here we'll get both of the endings, most likely, for the Reputation. The Ains and Tamarine ending and the Cerise and Pavel ending. Alright, so let's start up with a long-awaited reunion. Cerise finally arrives, but she's too late. A long-awaited reunion. Pavel and Cerise. Oh no, it's already past the time we're supposed to meet. I can't believe I had to work this late on the day of the festival. This is unfair. I told father I was meeting Pavel today, but of course he had to give me even more work. Was it intentional? Well, it doesn't matter now. I don't have time to worry about this. I've got to hurry. Pavel, you're here. <sighs> Sorry, sorry I'm late. Urgent work kept just kept coming up. It's fine. Speak for yourself. We've been, we've been standing here for hours. That's why I told you to go look around without me. <sighs> it, it's no fun to walk around a festival alone. You used to do everything alone. Maybe it's because Luluka disappeared that he's feeling... Ah. Violet, I didn't. It's fine, and Pavel is right. I can do things by myself. I'll leave you two to it then. Wait, Violet! <sighs> I really didn't mean to hurt his feelings. I shouldn't have mentioned Luluka in the first place. I was still catching my breath. I wasn't thinking straight. I messed up. What should we do? Should we chase after him? Hmm... Let's follow Violet. We should follow him, I'm worried. Alright, let's go. And choosing that path, we go here for apology and sincerity. Pavel and Cerise try to enjoy the festival with Violet. However, her father does not seem satisfied with the situation. Violet, wait. What? We'll keep you company if you're feeling down. No, it's fine. I don't want to be a third wheel. Third wheel? Violet, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to criticize you. Don't worry, Lady Cerise. I know you didn't have any ill intentions. And we won't bring Luluka up either. I've just been worried about you, so I ended up speaking without thinking. And Pavel is quite worried about you as well. I mean, I shouldn't have mentioned her name to begin with. 
There's no need to blame yourself. I'm okay, really. Because I'm going to find her, no matter what. That's the violet I know. I was late, and now I've gone and spoken out of turn. I'm a mess today. Would you let me buy you a nice dinner as an apology? Of course! I hope you can handle our appetite. We've been eating a lot more than usual lately. Hmm, I'll manage. Violet, is it any good? Pavel, what do you think? Oh, <laughs> it's fantastic! Especially because you're paying, Lady Cerise. It's good. Phew, I'm glad to hear that. This is my apology, so it needs to be good. <laughs> I told you, don't worry about it. Oh, I almost forgot. Would you like some cookies? Pavel stood in line for hours to buy these golden cocoa cookies for you. Do we really need to tell her that? Whoa, they're so pretty. I almost don't want to eat them. <laughs> don't worry, there are more. Try them. Pavel, Violet, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Once enemies, now breaking bread with one another. What a remarkable change. Father, when did you... <gasps> City Lord Furious? Although I'm not certain it's a good look for the administrator of Arkham to be seen hanging out with soldiers from Perland. Father, we must set a good example so that the citizens... The war is yet to end, administrator. Haha, <laughs> it's a festival, city lord. I think having some time to relax like this can be good. Are you saying my concerns are unfounded, Violet? What? Of course not. That's not, I, what, not what I meant, city lord. Follow me, Cerise. We don't have time to play around. You have so much work to do. What is it now? I thought I'd already finished everything before I came. There is new work to be done. Let's go. But I told you days ago that I was meeting Pavel today. It's not because of work, it's because of us. He just doesn't want his daughter hanging out with soldiers from Perland. City Lord Furious, here you are. What is it? It's almost time for your speech. You must get ready right away. Not much time is left, City Lord. Oh, I didn't notice the time. Cerise, go straight back to... City Lord! On my way! Anyway, be sure you go back right now, Cerise! I'm so sorry. I apologize for my father. You don't have to apologize. Jeez, I would have been better off going for a walk by myself. I'll take off. I'm not in the mood for a festival anyway. I'll just go rest. <sighs> This is not what I wanted. Well, it is what it is. Hmm? What's wrong? Over there. Hmm. He probably noticed their equipment, and it's my guess. What's with all that equipment? Are they all for the stage? Seems like it. Maybe they're going to put on a really spectacular concert. Hmm, we've got a while before it starts. Let's let's look around a little more. Sure. Ugh, so heavy. I really need to sell these and get out of here already. Where did all the merchants go? Are they taking a day off because of the festival? How lazy of them! I've also been asking some of the people around here, but none of them were interested. Shh! No one has any taste around here. Ah, uh, crap! Did I steal too much? I hope it wasn't all for nothing. Nothing goes as planned lately. What's going on with my life? Oh, I found him. Wait, um... Huh? What now? And that leads up to a twisted heart by looking at the equipment that they have with them. So let's go through here, we'll skip and then look at the suspicious person and see if that brings us towards the questioning one. Ah! 
Never mind. We must clear a twisted heart first, which could have been expected. So we'll go through here first. Tamarine wanted to say thank you. However, Ains is indifferent and exhausted. Um, what's your name? Ains. I see, Ains. Just spit it out already. Why are you dragging this on so long? This heavy bag is making me so tired and everything that's happened has just made me feel terrible. And now this girl is bothering me? What a hassle. Ugh, should I just leave? Oh, right. I almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm Tamarine. Hmm? So you're the singer everyone has been talking about. The singer from Britannia? Hmm? Oh, oh yes. H have you heard of me? I knew it. Tamarine is popular everywhere. With all the buzz about you, I had high expectations. But you're nothing special. Oh? What did you just say? I'm busy. I don't have time to sit around chatting with some girl who prances around the stage for easy money. Hey, why are you being so rude? Katis, it's fine. Tamarine, the guy you tried so hard to find was a mere thug? Why would you go out of your way to be insulted like this? No, it's not quite like that. Hmm? Alright, let's go to the left. Hmm, there are more stores on the left. Should I see if I can sell this stuff to any of them? Get out of my way. Ugh, stop annoying me. What? The Marine! Ah, how dare he? Catis, calm down. Please don't get mad at him. Why would you defend him? Didn't you hear what he just said to you? I'll explain, but please calm down first. Right, that leads, so going to the left, leads up towards fake cooperation. Cost of dishonesty, a battle an NPC battle for us. Huh? Everything is closed! Are they really all taking today off? So lazy! Ugh, this useless heavy bag is going to shatter my shoulders into pieces! Haynes, I thought I heard familiar voice. Huh? Are you here for a festival too? I didn't think you'd like this sort of thing. No, I'm looking for someone. And I believe you know who. I know them? Yes, because I once asked you to look for him. Oh, the guy with the mask. Are you still looking for him? Thanks to you, yes. What did I do? I went to the place you informed me about. There was no one there, not even a single shred of evidence that he'd been there. In the end, it was nothing but a waste of time. Huh. Did you really believe everything I told you? <laughs> Stupid mutt. What did you just say to me? All I'm saying is not everything you hear is true. You should filter information yourself a little. Why would you blame someone else for your own stupidity? You said you know everything about the underworld. Do you deceive me? I'm no information broker. If you wanted information, you came to the wrong place. I only told you what I had heard. So stop bugging me and go away. I'm a busy guy. I wanted to believe you, but I should never have placed my trust in you. I warned you once before, if you ever tell me lies, I won't let you get away with it. What? Why? Are you going to beat me up again? You want to fight? Come at me. Because after everything I've been through, I've changed. I'm all ready for the day I take my revenge. Hmm. Why does this sound familiar? Huh. You see these shackles? Do you know who I am? 
do boss fights. Are you ready to be crushed? What? You got a problem with my That's decision? Me. No one. See these jackals? Do you know who I am? Take this! Oh yeah. Are you ready to be crushed? What? You got a problem with my decision? You have to be strong if you want to survive. You see these shackles? Take you know this! You've certainly become stronger, but you still have a long way to go. Ah, back then. I talked so big but still got beaten up. Damn it, still I'm holding out for longer than before. And since I don't have a reason to spare you this time, I'll put an end to this. What? N no, wait. Ah, uh, why are you two so noisy? I could hear you from miles away. Don't you realize there are people who live here? <gasps> y y you, I mean, sir. Huh? It was you, Ains. I thought you'd been keeping your head down lately. But of course, the moment I take my eyes off you, you cause a scene. N no, no way, sir. In any case, as a soldier of Perland, I can't let you get away with this. You're causing a public disturbance, so naturally, I'll have to arrest the both of you, don't you think? Uh, of course not, sir. We're good pals, actually, aren't we, my furry friend? Hey, say something. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life in jail, tell him we're friends already. Or do you not want to find that mask guy? He's right. We weren't fighting. Then what was all the fuss about? <laughs> this is a festival, so, you know, it, it's so noisy. I'm sure you just misheard. That is likely. May I excuse myself now? I've got somewhere that I need to be. Um, uh, hmm, hmm, all right, I'll let you go for now, thank you very much, then, I'm certain he must have come here, <laughs> I'll excuse myself too, where do you think you're going, I'm busy too, so, no, no, I've still got business with you, more precisely, your bag, Huh? I heard there was an increasing number of thefts being reported, and that there's a man carrying a suspicious bag around. And I have a strong feeling that they were talking about you. I'll let you go right as soon as I check the bag. Open it for me. Damn it, not again. This wretched bag. Ugh, I should have never brought it with me. <laughs> no way, you're not doubting me, are you? Ever since I met you and Luluka, I've become a completely new... Huh? What's with the look on his face all of a sudden? Did I say something wrong? Uh, sir, are you okay? No. S -s so you're not okay? Quit being annoying and just hand over your bag. Why is he so cranky all of a sudden? Well, well sir, listen, I have some really important stuff in this bag. So you can't just rip it open. What stuff? Do you have a bomb in here? Is it going to explode if I open it? Well, well no, but... Then open it. Ugh, why did it have to be this grape head of all people? Although I don't see the alien girl he was always with. Oh, does that mean he's all alone? <laughs> then getting away should be easy. Here I go! <gasps> How dare you run from me? What? You got a problem with my you listen to me. What do you expect? Are you ready to be crushed? You see these Ooh, very nice crit. Another nice crit. Are you ready to be crushed? Ooh, them counterattacks. <sighs> I, I don't hear his footsteps anymore. I think I lost him. In your dreams. Ah! You really thought you could run from me, Ace of the Perlant Raiders? 
No one can escape from me. Where, where did you... You probably don't know this, but there are many shortcuts in this village. And I know Perland like the back of my hand. Now, why don't you give up already and hand over the suspicious bag to... Ugh. Ains! <gasps> You're... Huh? Who are you? I'm Tamarine, a singer from Ritania. Is there a problem with my savior? Ritanian singer? And... Do you call him your savior? Yes. Earlier today he saved me from a group of thugs. D did I? Ains, so you really have become a whole new man? Uh, of course, I've spent some time self-reflecting and... Living a new life, really. Please, trust me. What's that smoke? Huh? It's coming from the festival. And I don't see a reason they'd set a fire. Wait, could it be? Ains. Alright, I'll trust you for now. Keep it up. I'll see you later. What's up with him just leaving like that? Ains, are you alright? Ah, uh, yes, thanks to you. Phew, what a relief. Tamarine, we've strayed too far. Let's talk while we walk back. Ah, okay. Ains, let's get out of here first. Uh, hmm. Right, that finishes up this part, and now we can go on to Heartfelt Performance. I believe it's probably not possible to go for the Revenge one yet. We probably have to finish Heartfelt Performance, and then we'll already have the ending for them. So I want to just quickly go through and see if we can actually go towards that one already. It would be nice if we can, so that we get to see both of those story parts. Ah, we can go right. Good. Then we can see both of these story parts, what happens when you go left and what happens when you go right, before we have the ending for Ains and Tamarine's storyline. Hmm, I should get some rest and think about my next move. The road on the right looks quieter, so I'll head that way. Get out of my way. Uh, stop annoying me. What? Damarine. Uh, how dare he? Katis, calm down. Please don't get mad at him. Why would you defend him? Didn't you hear what he just said to you? I'll explain, but please calm down first. Then we can go for revenge. Terrible misfortune. Another fighting battle with thugs as enemies. So maybe it's those thugs that we saved Tamarine from earlier. Oh, Mr. Ains! Huh? Amanda? What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm just having fun. What are you doing? Well, I'm just working and I'm having fun too. You work and play at the same time? <laughs> Can I hang out with you then? Hmm, I don't see why not. So what have you done at the festival? I ate some cookies. They're super expensive, but I bought them anyway since I heard you can only get them in Perland. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Were they good? They're delicious. Um, would you like to try one? No thanks, kiddo. <laughs> eat them all by yourself so you can get taller. <laughs> That's a relief. I was worried you might actually ask for one. <laughs> wait, wait, what? I don't know why you had so many friends, Ains. That woman before? And this kid now? Huh? You guys? We've been looking for you, Ains, to get back for before. Who are they? Are they your friends? No, they're not my... Uh, what's with they? Why is everyone looking for me? I'm too popular for my own good. Well, now that you mention it, there were a lot of people who wanted to see you, so I thought I'd bring them all here. What happened to your confidence? Pretty cheap of you to outnumber me like this. Haynes, you're looking a little worse for wear. You, on the other hand, you look better than when you got your ass handed to you by me. 
Seems rising back to the top has been good for you. All thanks to you, but... But do you really think you should be messing with my guys when you're a wanted man? Nah, <laughs> bite me! If anything, they've been threatening me. Come on, we both know that's not threatening, it's more like collecting what we're owed. Since your interruption cost us at woman's toll, you should pay twice as much. Or give us your bag. In your dreams! Get lost while I'm willing to let you go. Hit Miss Reigns. I, I, I'm scared. Hmm, I was being generous, but if you're gonna be like that, then I guess I have no choice. Everyone, bring me the bag. You cheap. M m m m Mr. Ains. Don't worry, kiddo. Ains is gonna save you. Take this. Whoppa, nice. That counterattack almost took him out already. What? You got Are you ready to be well, maybe I shouldn't just let him live because I have a 50% chance to counterattack. Are you ready to be crushed? You know who I am? Ooh, sweet crit. Oof, that's silent though. What? You got Take a problem this. with my decision? If we can get one out counterattack on this guy, you it'll be nice. Be or we just crit him and be over it. Well, you're as skilled a fighter as ever, but even you won't be able to withstand our all-out attack. Ha 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 ha. You sly snake, shut up! Don't mess with me! It's getting late, let's end this already. Let's see, what's in this bag? Hey, you there! What's going on? <gasps> oh no, it's a pearl and soldier! What should we do, Captain? You really need to ask if we'd get caught this time, it'll mean the end of us. Run! C captain what about the bag? Captain! Huh? <laughs> Why are they running? Hey, you! You're the guy with the suspicious bag from before. What? I've spent all this time looking for you, and here you are. I won't let you get away this time. Why did you change targets all of a sudden? M mister what's going on between you and this soldier? Damn it, I forgot about Amanda. I can't let this innocent kid get evolved. Ugh. He's running again. Huh? Mr. Ains, where are you going? Mr. Ains! What should I do? The scary soldier is gone too. They all left me behind. Mr. Ains. Where on earth did he go? Huh? There's someone over there. It's a little girl. Hello there. What are you doing here by yourself? P please, help me. What's wrong? What happened? Mr. Ains. Something must have happened to him. Hmm. Du, 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 du. You got a problem with my well, are you fearless? Oh no, the pearl and watchman caught up with Ains. Let's give him a little beating then. What? You got a problem with my decision? You see these jackals? Take this! You know who I am? Hey, nice crit. What? You got a problem with my decision? That's me! Ains! Oh, now he counterattacked me. You see these jackals? Are you ready to be crushed? You know who I am? Counterattack! Opa! I told you you'd get caught eventually. Why would you keep running? You could have saved your breath. Ugh. Ains! <gasps> You're... <laughs> Mr. Ains. Amanda! Hey, what are you doing here? This child helped us find you. Um, sir, is there a problem with my savior? Your savior? Yes, earlier today he saved me from a group of thugs. D did I? Is that true? Uh, of course, see, I told you I'm not anyone suspicious. Why do you keep making me suffer? Oh, I see, I'm sorry, huh? I've lost a lot of my precious time because of you. How are you gonna compensate for... Hey, listen, I'm talking right now. What is that smoke? Could it be... Huh? 
Uh, Alright, all I apologize for the misunderstanding. You can go now, I've got to move. Oh no, this is bad, I have to tell them. Uh huh? Hey, where do you think you're going? What about my conversation? <laughs> Mr. Ains! Ah! Uh, Kiddo, you can't just jump all over me right after I got beaten up. I'm in a lot of pain right now. I was worried. You left me all by myself, and I saw you getting chased by that scary soldier. Hmm. <clears throat> hey, do you still not know how strong I am? There's nothing to worry about. So stop crying, and you shouldn't be wandering around by yourself this late at night. <laughs> how cute. Anyway, it seems we managed to talk our way out of that. Hmm. It seems so. Let's get this child home first. Alright, so now we can bring the child home and talk on the way. For heartfelt performance, Ames finally tries to speak his mind, but his pride gets in the way. Suddenly, Tamarine starts expressing her feelings. Ains, are you sure you're okay? You look kind of down. I said I'm fine. Ugh, I can't believe the girl I ignored before saved me from Grapehead. This is so embarrassing. At this point, telling her thank you would just be a blow to my pride. Uh, Ains? Huh? Thank you so much for saving me earlier. Oh, alright. I've been wondering about that. When did I save you? So you... Don't recognize me? Because this is your idol form, Tamarine. What are you talking about? Um, well, Ains, listen to my song. What? Huh? This song? Sounds familiar. You remember this song, right? Yes, I heard a woman, si woman sing. <gasps> Wait, so you're ready? Yes, it's me. But you look so different! Tamarine said you saved her before, and she wanted to say thank you. She's been looking for you all this time. Oh, I mean, I was just... I wasn't trying to save you or anything. <laughs> That's not important. What matters is that you did save me, regardless of your reasons. And you also enjoyed my song, which helped me feel much braver. So I really wanted to say thank you. And I want to invite you to my concert. Your concert? Yes, and as a reward for saving her, I'll save you the best seat in front of the stage. Uh, no thanks, I already heard her sing. I don't need to go to the concert too. There's a difference between when she's singing during practice and when she's performing on stage. Come to her concert and listen for yourself, you'll understand. Oh, really? I mean, if you insist, I guess I go can check if that's true. Thanks, and please listen to the entire song. I'll do my best for you, Ains. Ah, uh, okay, sure, do your best. Tamarine, let's go, it's about time. Don't you think there are more guards than usual? It does seem like it. Of course, I usually make sure we have more than enough guards for you, but... Oh, there was a strange incident around the stage before. That's why we tightened security. A strange incident? Maybe it was some crazy fans trying to sneak backstage again. Tsh, being a popular singer sounds pretty tough. Anyway, I need to get ready for my performance now. Katis, please show Ains to his seat. Alright, I'll be right back. Here is your seat. Whoa, the stage is right in front of me! I gotta say, this really is a good seat. Don't make a scene, just keep calm and enjoy her passionate performance. <laughs> passionate, he says. You'll be surprised. There's not a single person who doesn't fall for her after seeing her perform. Hmm, <clears throat> we'll see about that. A concert, huh? Have I ever seen a concert before? I was born into a poor family of blacksmiths and grew up in the underworld. I never would have dreamed of being at something like this. And yet, here I am now, sitting in the middle of some silly festival, waiting for a show to start. Ugh, I feel out of place. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the moment you've all been waiting for, the highlight of today's festival. In order to help promote peace in Sidonia, we have a very special guest from our neighboring continent, Ritania. Everyone, please give a round of applause for Ritania's sweetheart, Tamarine. Hello everyone, I'm Tamarine. Thank you all so much for coming to see my show. I'll do my best to give you a wonderful show worthy of your love. So the first song I'm going to sing is... Shining Star! Ains and Tamarine end. And that's the ending there. Now we can go to You Can Run But You Can't Hide. But we want to do the other part here. First, before we do the battle stage, because that battle stage has a little story as well, and it's always nice to complete the whole story everywhere first, before getting that little one as well. So when we go back to Apology and Insincerity, we should be able to go to Questioning by choosing one of the other options there. So, let's watch the suspicious person now. What are they doing? Only staff is supposed to go in there, but they don't seem like staff. What are you looking at? Oh, that's... Ains? What? I don't know. He suddenly disappeared during the battle in Aachen. Was he in Berlin this whole time? But why is he here? Ains? Where? Right there. I thought we were looking at the same thing. I have to follow him. I've got a lot of questions to ask him. That's not what I was looking at. Huh? Are they gone already? I don't see them anymore. Hmm, I'm sure it was nothing. It's pretty dark out, so I could have been mistaken. Let's try to find Ains then. Right, that lets us go to questioning. Can we now go... take the other option here as well to go there so we'll let Violet go no just leave him what why I think he needs some time alone it's better to give him some space and risk making things worse and it's Violet it won't take long for him to be back to his usual self so don't worry too much Oh, uh, alright. <clears throat> alright, and that also clears up the path to Awkward Friend. So we'll do questioning first, and then go from Awkward Friend to Artist Rest. Ains is interrogated by a guard about his suspicious bag, and Cerise about his actions during the war. What will he do? Meeting Plaza, questioning. This is for the sake of concert security. Please be cooperative. I told you, I'm just someone who came to sell a few things. Is it okay for you to treat an innocent person like this in the name of security? Hello, Ains. How have you been? <gasps> uh, administrator? I was so concerned when you suddenly disappeared in the heat of battle. But I see now that you're alright. What are you doing here? Uh, well, oh, so when I went the other way, I ran into that Block Knight, Black Knight, whatever. I didn't think we could handle it by ourselves, so I started to look for you. But then he attacked us, and when I came to, I was outside the colonies. So, am I meant to believe what you just said? Of course, I'm serious, I'm telling you the truth. You saw how hard I fought that day. What a smooth talker. Alright, so what happened next? Well, so, after that battle, I had lost my comrades, and everything I had, I was, I was all alone. I've just been wandering the continent, struggling to survive. Is that so? I suppose you collected all of those things, wandering the continent? <gasps> the, 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 this bag, I mean, these are my daily necessities. I worked so hard to get even this much. Didn't you say you were... They were things you planned to sell? 
Well, well, both that and my daily necessities. What's going on? I'm part of security here. I've been ordered to search anyone suspicious. And this man has been loitering around the stage with this heavy looking bag. So I tried stopping him to search it, but he refuses to cooperate. Hmm. Hey, why won't you do as he asks? It's none of your business, and this is clearly an invasion of privacy. He is just carrying out his duty to prevent any accidents in a crowded place like this. If you're innocent, then you have nothing to be afraid of. He's just trying to check what's inside your bag. He's not going to take it. I also want to believe that what you just said is the truth, so please cooperate with security. Crap! What should I do? I mean, I didn't steal anything from the festival, but they'll definitely ask about the rock and gems. And they've been talking about peace in Sidonia and stuff recently. Won't they realize I stole it somewhere else? And what's the administrator doing here? She'll throw me back in the Arkham Exile colony if she realizes what I've done. <gasps> Phew! I guess I'm left with no choice. Time to bounce! Ah! He's running away! Ains! Stop right there! If you keep running, you'll have more than just an inspection to deal with. Would you stop right now if you were in my position? Think before you speak. Why are they so fast? Or, or am I just slow? Ah, damn it, if it wasn't for this bag. First things first, I've got to find somewhere to hide. There's no way they'll find me here. I didn't hear any footsteps before ducking into this alley. And there's no way they'll think to look in this dumpster. What a predictable hiding place. <gasps> I suggest you surrender peacefully. I thought I lost him. Doesn't he get tired? What is he, a ghost? He sure is persistent. When will he just let me be? It ends here. Ah! Whoa, you're fast. Save your breath and just give it up already. It doesn't matter where you go. You can't escape me. Babel, do you catch him? Yes, it seems like that heavy bag of his has worn him out. Damn it, I can't get caught here after all the work I did trying to escape from that place. What should I do? Well, maybe running away, but he probably can't go far with this weight. Alright, so my only choice is to distract them and run. Yeah, Take this! Ugh! Bavel, your face! Are you alright? Ah, uh, what's this? Whipped cream? Oh? A cupcake? Hmm, he thought he could stop me with a cupcake? Wait, where did he go? He ran away, all away while we were distracted. Damn it, Ains! Wait. You might get some in your eyes if you try to wipe it off like that. Here, let me help you. Hmm, I think you might need to wash it out with water too. Ains, I need to catch him. I'll go after him. Don't worry, I'm sure he couldn't have gotten too far. Let's head back now. <sighs> Alright. Okay, it doesn't seem like he's following me anymore. And what a persistent guy! How does he do that? He finds me no matter where I hide. What is he? A wolf? Is he tracking my scent? I should have left the festival when I had the chance. Ever since I got caught by Furious, things have been terrible. And to make matters worse, not a single thing has gone my way since I started carrying this rock. Am I cursed or something? Come on, all I did was steal a measly rock. How can one little rock make my life so much worse? Damn it, these stupid heavy rocks. Oh, there you are. What? Oh. Um, do I know you? If you're just about to make my life harder than already is, get lost. N no, I'm not here to make anyone's life harder. I do know you. We've met before. I have something I want to say. Would you spare a moment for me? Uh, what now? Why can't you just leave me alone? Well, we already know that. Of course, because... Through the storyline above that we have just gone through, we have seen that. Wait, why is it automatically placing us at secret place when we have to do awkward friend first? Hmm. 
Pavel and Cerise try to enjoy the festival without Violet, however, her father does not seem satisfied with the situation. Hey, Pavel, you're not mad at me, are you? No, why would you think so? Because I made you wait for so long and you aren't really saying much today. I'm sorry, it's been a little while since we last saw each other. Oh, do you feel awkward? Yeah, a little. I guess it is a little awkward. It has been a long time since we last hung out. We used to spend so much time together. Yeah, and we were a little younger, so we had fun with anything we did. You're right. You have no idea how worried I was to lose you when things started getting bad between Arkan and Perlin. That's the last thing I want. It was thanks to you that my time as an exchange student was so memorable. You're really important to me. And I'm so happy that the relationship between our cities is back to normal. Thanks to that, we were finally able to see each other again. I feel the same. And I was so looking forward to meeting you today. But I ended up being late. I just can't forgive myself. So, would you give me a chance to apologize? Alright then. So, what do you think? They're good. Phew, <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. This is my apology, so it's neat. it needs to be good. I told you, don't worry about it. Oh, and here. What's this? A cookie? It's so pretty. I bought some for you. Really? It looks so nice. I almost feel bad eating it. Don't worry, there are more. They're all for you. Thanks, I appreciate it. Once enemies, now breaking bread with one another. What a remarkable change. Father, when did you... I'm not certain it's a good look for the administrator of Arkham to be seen hanging out with a Perlin soldier. Father, we must set a good example so that the citizens... The war is yet to end, administrator. I understand your concern, city lord, but I'm not sure being this cautious is... Are you saying my concerns are unfounded, Pavel? No, not exactly. Follow me, Cerise. We don't have time to play around. You have so much work to do. What is it now? I thought I'd already finished everything before I came. There is new work to be done. Let's go. But I told you days ago that I was meeting Pavel today. City Lord Furious, here you are. What is it? It's almost time for your speech. You must get ready right away. Not much time is left, City Lord. Oh, I didn't notice the time. Cerise, go straight back to... City Lord! On my way! Anyway, be sure you go back right now, Cerise. I'm so sorry. I apologize for my father. You don't have to apologize. But... It's not your fault. I understand his concerns. I was late meeting you, and then my father comes and treats you like this. I'm ashamed. It's fine. Huh? What's wrong? Over there. Well, we did already look at their equipment. I'm looking at their equipment. Earlier we did that and they were gonna check it out and that and then we had the Ains and Tamarines storyline instead of theirs. What's with all that equipment? Are they all for the state? Seems like it. Maybe they're going to put on a really spectacular concert. Hmm, we've got a while before it starts. Let's look around a little more. Yes. Because they wanted to look around more, and then Ains and Tamarine had their storyline show up because well, Pavel and Cerise were going to look around and we weren't going to focus on them for now. Ugh, so heavy! I really need to sell these and get out of here already. Where did all the merchants go? Are they taking a day off because of the festival? How lazy of them! I've asked a few people, but none of them were interested. Shh! No one has any taste around here. But crap, did I steal too much? I hope it wasn't all for nothing. Nothing goes as planned lately. What's going on with my life? Oh, I found him. Wait, um... Huh? What now? Alright. And that's exactly the same that we had earlier there before, which led us towards the Eight Twisted Heart. But now we're going to focus on Pavel and Cerise, who are just hanging around 
together. An awkward silence continues. As the concert approaches, Pavel has a suggestion for Cerise. Secret place. How much longer are you and Cerise going to stay like this? Is there a problem? Of course there is. Luluka even asked me if you two were engaged or to be married. Why would she... Are you kidding me? You know why. Dragging your feet won't help anyone. Just think about it. I don't know how many times I asked myself that question after that. Of course, I haven't had any chances to say anything until now. But maybe Violet is right if I keep waiting. Hello. Babel. Hmm? What? What are you thinking so deeply about? Oh, nothing. Is that so? Um, are you still feeling awkward? <laughs> you look like you've got something on your mind. Oh, was there anything you wanted to talk about? The concert is going to start soon. Oh. Hmm. Let's go with I Know Somewhere Better. I saw the stage earlier, and all the good seats were already taken, and it was so crowded. Really? Hmm, what a shame. Actually, I know a better place we can watch from. Really? Where? Follow me. And we go on to Ambition. Which is a fighting stage where we can bring our own characters how far are we going are we going to keep going up yes but it's not too far from here hmm I can already see the square and stage from here it's nice people who live here get to see this kind of beautiful landscape every day I'm jealous I can't even dream of seeing something like this in Aachen um, the view is even better from the top of this hill. Then, let's go quickly. I can't wait. We're almost there. Pavel, what are you doing here? Were you looking for me? Yes, I've been searching for you. There's no time. There was an explosion near the stage at the plaza. What? An explosion? The investigation is still ongoing, so we don't know much about the details. But one thing is clear. It was intentional. We have to go. What's going on? All right, let's go. Why are you in such a hurry? Didn't you hear? Near the stage, there was... Oh, you mean the explosion? So you knew what happened. Then why are you blocking the... Bavel, something's off. I don't think these are Perlin soldiers. Look at those people in the back. They look like thugs. What are they doing here? I'm setting a bomb. You... You were with Lilias before. This is too good, a Perlin soldier hanging out with the enemy's administrator at a festival. Not a care in the world. Unity and peace in Sidonia? Ha! <laughs> Bite me! We don't even have a city lord to protect Perlin. I'm sure you have no idea, but citizens are trembling in fear. They think unity is just an excuse to be absorbed into the other city-states. That's not true. We've been working hard to put an end to this meaningless war. This guy used to be a member of the Queen's Guard. He's nothing special, but I remember him. He knows what to say to get what he wants. Don't use the citizens as an excuse for your actions. We all know you're only trying to become City Lord. Impressive, Pavel. But my desire to become City Lord isn't just out of some personal greed. This is all for Lilias to carry on her will for the Kingdom of Perlutia's future. Oh, get a new line. Hmm. <laughs> The concert will begin any minute now, and the second explosion will be at the show's climax. What? Why would you do such a thing? Do you think the citizens of Berlin will just allow that to happen? I've already taken care of that. They'll just think one of the scared citizens plotted a terror attack. I thought Lilia's closest allies hadn't 
gone into hiding after army retreated. But why did he suddenly decide to show himself? And with the aim of becoming city lord? Something doesn't add up. I think there are more of them. There's got to be a mastermind behind this. I'll take it from here. You go stop the second explosion. Inform all soldiers on site. Understood. I'll help too, Pavel. And as, as administrator of Aachen, I won't just sit on my hands. Alright, then let's do this. Is, is it my turn? Oh, that one's bugged. Good. It solved itself. I had to reinstall the game because there was some kind of error with, with one data thing when it was trying to update with the latest patch. So it couldn't properly get it installed completely. So I just erased all the data and let all the necessary data be re-downloaded afterwards to fix it. Maybe not all the files are correct. Hmm, <clears throat> I didn't think you'd make it this far and seeing your uniform, you must be a permanent raider. The mask. Violet told me about it. You're the one who'd helped out the bloody daggers, aren't you? Bavel, do you know who this man is? He was involved in a mission a while ago that had badly damaged the Perland raiders. He's also one of the most wanted men in Perland. You threw quite a wrench in my plans that day. But things will be different this time. Are you behind all this? <laughs> Are you asking if I planned this? I never play a boring role like that. All I did was to provide them with a chance to use my power, and in return, I was given some prey to play with. Some people might call this a collaboration. Prey to play with? How can you treat innocent people like that? Those who are weak have no reason to live. I just wanted to help give their worthless lives a little value. He's out of his mind! I don't think anything we say will get through to him. Then there's no more time to waste. If he won't listen, let's teach him a lesson. I'll help you. Oh, he's also back. Ah, oh, he, okay. he immediately got unbugged. You're better than I expected. But it seems you're starting to get tired, aren't you? Ugh. Babel, are you okay? Yes. Babel! We've taken care of the situation on our end. Violet found someone trying to set off a bomb, so we've evacuated everyone. And we're removing the other bombs that were installed. We've also caught everyone involved down here. Alright. Shh. Did today's hunt fail too? Bunch of idiots. To get caught this easily. Huh? What's going on? His voice. It changed. Failure is for the weak. I can't. No, it doesn't matter. There will be more opportunities to find even better prey later. <laughs> they were already caught? It's too soon. I think it was because of the raiders. Let's not stand around waiting for them to catch us too. What? Oh, what? Hey, where are you going? My plan hasn't even started yet. This isn't what we agreed upon. I can't just give up my plans like this. Then I'll just have to carry on by myself. Where do you think you're going? He's heading to the square. We have to stop him. F fire? Ugh, come on, I've got to detonate this bomb before they find me. Good, it's working. Now if I can just light the fuse. Oh no, it's lit already. Are we too late? No, <laughs> it's lit, fantastic. Haha, <laughs> now you're all dead. No. The one who's dead is you. Arrest him. <gasps> Furious? All I need to do is cut this fuse off. Yeah. No, no, my plan. Take him away. Get your hands off of me. How dare you? Ah. Phew. It would have been disastrous if we were even a moment later. Violet, I heard what you did. Great job. Violet, that was amazing. You saved everyone's lives. Haha, <laughs> it was nothing for the genius Violet Harrison. By the way, are you two alright? You look like a mess. I'm fine. I wasn't hurt too badly. I'm okay too. That's a relief then. Hmm. 
I'll have to report this to City Hall while they're cleaning up here. Alright, let's ask them to reinforce security too, just in case. That's this stage finished. So now we can have one more. Silent Festival Night, which will end the story for Cerise and Pavel. And then we have this one left. You can run, but you can't hide. Pavel runs to the hidden spot with Cerise. However, the night is almost over. How was it? It went well. They're strengthening security. That's great. Where's Violet? He said he'd head back first and get some rest. I see. You both did a great job. You too. City Hall and the Perlin soldiers will take care of the rest. Alright. So we're all finished? Yes. Oh. That's right. There was somewhere I was trying to take Cerise. Where was it? What did I... <gasps> What's wrong? The concert! What time is it? Uh, I don't know. It's been a while since it started. It's probably almost done now. Damn it. Or maybe not. I think I can still hear the music. Is it not over yet? Then maybe we'll be able to see if we hurry. Uh, Cerise? Yes? Do you want to go back to where we tried to go earlier? Oh, sure! Let's go! I am out of breath. Why are you in such a hurry? The show! Oh, I nearly forgot. It must be nearing its end by now. Damn it, is it too late? We wasted too much time at City Hall. Everyone was so flustered that the meeting lasted longer than I expected. I'm sorry. I see. It's fine. I understand. Although we're not too late for the last performer, I'm glad we could make it for this one. Hello everyone, I'm Tamarine. Thank you all so much for coming to see my show. Oh, it's about to start. The stage really does look amazing. I know. Do you like it? Yes, it's so pretty up here, so quiet, and I can see the entire stage from here. This is great, and I'm even happier since I get to see this with you, Pavel. Thank you for bringing me here. No problem. And that's the end of Pavel and Ceres' story. So now we have You Can Run But You Can't Hide left, which is a stage with four different difficulties so that's where you want to go and farm your stolen jewels to unlock the albums with the event currency and after you complete this one for the first time you can unlock the Molagora challenge as well so I have to go through this on easy at first like usual Finally, the last one. Gotcha, you slippery, you slippery little frauds. She, she's insane. How can she be so persistent? She chased us long past nightfall. We even split the money among us to make it harder for her. Yet she caught every single one of us. Where, where's everyone else? I don't know. Probably still lying in the street, nursing their wounds. And of course, I got my money back. And you're the last one, so just surrender peacefully. If you can remember, there were some swindlers on the festival, and they also stole money from Sermia, and she does not like that, so she chased after all of them to get her money back. Why do you have to be such a pain? You think you can trick me with that move? Oh no, I've used every trick in the book and she's still on my tail? At this rate, she'll be chasing me for the rest of my life. I didn't want to do this to her, but I guess I'm left with no option. I'll have to summon it. I'm not going easy on 
Oof. Is this some kind of joke? Are you trying to show me a magic trick? Wasn't hearing about what happened to your friends enough to get you to behave? No! That was my secret weapon! What? Why are you doing this to me? I've already returned all your money. It's not enough. Where's my interest? Everyone else paid up. I, 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 I'll give you everything I have. Good. Now you're getting in. Here. This is all you've got? Yes, ma'am. That, that's all I have. Trust me. It's really all you've got, huh? Then what's that shiny thing in your pocket? Haven't you learned your lesson by now? Ugh! Stop right there, or you'll have to pay ten times as much when I catch you. And that finishes that. You've unlocked a hidden achievement. For you can run, but you can't hide. Now this stage has to be cleared 20 times on any difficulty. For the reputation. Which is that hidden achievement. The hidden achievement we just unlocked is to clear the stage 20 times and that unlocks this background pack, a walking trail near the plaza. A walking trail overlooking the central plaza that few people know about. Alright, so that wraps it up. The Molagora challenge doesn't contain any story, you can just go there once and get a Molagora. And you can farm this stage on the highest difficulty you can do to farm the event currency that you need to have to unlock the albums. So that was it. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to get notified when more content is published. And if you have anything you want to say, please let me know in the comments. Thank you very much and take care.